Okay, so here's the story, guys. I got Yanfei, and I also got Zhongli. And I messed up my recording and it bugged and I couldn't show you guys how awesome those pulls were. <laughs> the big rocks, right? This one. Do I have anyone? Good. Level her up. And pay. Ascend! Uh, that's that's as that's as high as we can go with her. And get her to max as well. There we go. Should be my first uh catalyst user ever. <laughs> Cause I don't use catalysts on my characters. Oh that's big. Oh that's big, wow. Alright, we're at fifty. Yeah, would set is the best weapon, I'd say. Because you don't have any crit crit damage um, ascension. Rather it's it's very hard to get crits for a character. Look at that, plus forty, you're already at huge. Okay. That should do it. And yeah, that should do it. Okay. And we have pretty good. Each okay, here's a here's a here's the part that you need. <clears throat> here's the part that you guys need to listen. Um, each scarlet seal will decrease Yan Fei's stamina consumption and will disappear when he leaves the field. Yan Fei's um, scarlet seals are the, the things that appear. So what I want to know is, does this level up? The Scarlet Seal Stamina Consumption decrease. It does not. Okay, so that's the same for everything else. And that is why you need this. When Yanfei uses her charge attack, existing Scarlet Seals additionally reduced stamina cost by 10%. So that's 30. Plus what fifteen? That's seventy-five stamina. <laughs> stamina d d decreased. Decreased stamina consumption. It's very high because she relies on charge attacks more. So I think if you guys are gonna pull for Yanfei and Yanfei alone, without getting others, and like say if you don't have uh, Dilok, and you don't have Klee, or if you don't have Huta, or maybe Bennett. Do you want Yanfei? Because <clears throat> she's the banner right now, right? The best you could go for is C1. C2 increases Yanfei's charge attack crit rate 20%. Uh, not, not really, you won't need this. You won't need this. When done deal is used for each shield. Oh, this is pretty good, but you won't really <laughs> get uh, four of them in like one sitting, right? Because we're talking about free to play here. Don't really get that. It's fine. It's good. It's better than Zhongli shield. I, I think so. And this one's really nice. You get another seal. Which means you get another 15% from your passive from your talent one. And another... What's that? Another 10% from your... Constellation one. Which bumps you up to... You're basically at 100% um, uh, charge attack stamina decrease. So you can spam your um, charge attacks more whenever you play Yanfei. Right, so um, let's let's try her out. Then let's bring out Jean for the emergency heal. And right here is Yanfei. You see, she's very squishy. <laughs> if you guys didn't notice, um, she has that much HP and that's it. Uh, after playing, uh, playing after testing around with her basic attacks, there. See, okay. After testing around with that, I found that her combo is supposed to be uh, the most uh, efficient way. I guess is one, two, three, and see that 
bit where she stops for stops before she throws her third fireball. See that? You can link that with a charge attack. So three and put the charge attack there. Go. But if you're too quick, if you're too quick on your charge attack, you're gonna end up just smacking the <laughs> the charge attack right in front of the second one. So one, two, three. Wait for the ball to like appear first. Oh. Now wait for the ball to appear first, and then you can slowly get used to the attack strings. And yeah, there you go. And you can't just charge attack. Yeah, see. So let me show you a charge attack completely. This is the full charge attack. Okay. But you can actually cut that and have the <clears throat> the stamp not falling. Have the stamp not falling at the enemy. Like that. So you have to like be careful, I guess. Yeah, even jumps stop it. See? Uh, if you're playing uh, like the Abyss, I guess, yeah, most likely you're gonna use a shield or a healer. Or most likely a shield because you need to pull off these combos like properly. See? Like, really huge room for error here when you're playing with Yanfei. So the combo goes one, two, three. And see her animation where she like dunks her hand pretty quick. But uh, can't see it. <laughs> that is way too quick. <laughs> so you have to wait for her to actually dunk her hand down. There's a there's a ping sound like there's like a whooshing sound that you can hear before you can jump. You can like time it to that attack. So yeah, that's that's the only thing I missed from the <laughs> the class recording. And apart from that, we're gonna skip over to trying out her attacks. So right now, before we hit these guys, I'm running full Crimson Witch. This is from my Hu Tao. She's empty, <laughs> not using anything. And she is using Widsith at Refinement 1. Honestly, I think Mapa Mare is the best weapon here because and this this buff not 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 really my thing. But the thing with Mapa Mare is it has Elemental Mastery, right? And why I think you need Elemental Mastery for Yanfei is because she's basically the same as Hu Tao, but she's ranged. And look, I, I'm using Dragon's Bane because it gives basically more damage for me, for my Elemental Reactions. I hit 45k with Vapes. So assuming you get a proper artifact set with at least that much crit rate and crit damage you can pull off quite good damage with your vaporizes and melts get a seal okay see that's that's a seal right there third time the time the charge attack ouch it's pretty good damage actually okay you're doing 3k but okay keep in mind guys i'm at I'm at uh, talent level one here. Um, this is just to multiply the charge attacks. Oh crap! See, <laughs> that's why you're gonna need shields in uh, the abyss because charge attacks won't be Ooh, pretty hard to pull off. Okay, you have more seals; it does more damage, of course. And three. See, it's a number three. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. What this? Um, Charge attack thing does. Charge attack. I guess it varies, I guess. I think it varies, I don't know. I mean, she does pretty good damage. Like, look at that. Oh, there's just one. I wanna go to five. How do you go to five? This is weird, dude. You can only do three seals though. Really weird.
her range also is like pretty far. <laughs> Explosions everywhere. If you're fighting smaller guys, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, and her attacks are tracking also. So, <laughs> won't have a problem with that. So, all her attacks have uh, tracking. <laughs> she's like Ning Wong, but she's fire. Her charge attacks are like. are like please. And. no, oh, her charge attacks are like. Uh, Lisa's yeah because Lisa has like charge attack ratings and numbers also when you use her overall I think Yanfei is pretty good she has great damage her basic attacks have a string that's really really seamless you just have to like not dodge too early or cancel too early or animation cancel too early for her talents you max out her her normal attack first and then go to her or to her ultimate and then her e as <clears throat> for last in order right put everything to six and then get your charge attack to 10 and then get your uh, burst get your q to level 10 as well and then maybe your E if you have enough books constellations I think if you're gonna pull for Yanfei and you're gonna use Yanfei I think C1 is all you need yeah that's it as a main DPS if you like Yanfei so much use get C1 C6 is very much worth it because you basically get 100% reduction Reduced stamina consumption. <laughs> reduced stamina consumption. You get 100% reduced stamina consumption. There you go. With C6. So if you're gonna go C6, uh, Yan Fei, you're gonna use her forever, then be my guest. She's gonna be like a really good charge attack user. The amount of charge attacks that she can do can be comparable to the limited amount of charge attacks that Hu Tao does at C0. C0 guys, C0. Because I doubt that any that every player here has C1. Right? So it's very comparable to C0 Hu Tao. Artifact is Crimson Witch or Wanderers, 4 piece, don't go for 2 piece. For her weapons, go with Widsith, go with Sacrificial Fragments, and go with Mapa Mare. Depending on whichever one you have, use those weapons, right? And that's all I have to say about Yan Fei, the law abiding is she? Dear A. Yeah, anyway, so thanks for, for thanks for watching the video. And uh see you guys in my next video. Bye!